And in the non-ionizing radiation, you have um, television and radio, uh, you have microwave ovens, and uh, you have uh, the cellular technologies, essentially. And, you know, the, these were, were thought for a long time, um, the non-ionizing radiation was thought for a long time not to cause any damage. Um, but more and more studies are showing that, you know, it is causing um, DNA breaks, both uh, single-strand and double-strand DNA breaks, and there have been studies um, to show this. You know, single-strand DNA breaks are, are happening to us, you know, constantly. Um, you know, every every exposure to um, you know to the sun, to to smoke from a passing car, to to someone's secondhand uh, smoke, to you know, it, there are a lot of factors that that affect uh, our DNA, and that's normal. And uh, you know, we can rebuild these single-strand uh, breaks, you know quite easily. Uh, double strand brakes aren't repaired as easily and as cleanly and uh, I often compare it to a zipper that's sort of, uh, you know, that's sewn together in a way that the teeth aren't really fitting together the way they should be. And that's really um, a mutation of the, of the cell and when you're talking about, you know, a number of these forming together, um, you start to, to talk about tumors and uh, you know, wh wh another thing that, that's important in the, in the uh, repairing of the DNA is our nighttime uh, sleep. And during the sleep when, when we produce melatonin um, and our, you know, our bodies are, are laying there still, we're, we're, we're repairing this DNA. A lot of people have cell phones or Wi-Fi running in the house. They have cell phones near their beds. Um, there are cordless phones in their rooms. And you're you're still being exposed to the same sort of radiation 